Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today at Car Vault here in Dubai, where inside the warehouse behind me, we have some very nice supercars, but we're going to be going over to their other location as well, where they have some hypercars, including a Bugatti Chiron, a McLaren Senna. I think there's one or two Porsche 918s and some more as well. Now, what we're going to be doing though, is picking up the Avine key, the Phantom model, which is the world's most expensive car key. It costs 500,000 euros and you're going to see why very shortly but we will take it over to the Bugatti Chiron to which it connects. So let's head inside then, check out some very nice cars, pick up the key and head over to the Bugatti. Inside here then, well you can see there are some pretty nice cars around. A 997 GT2 RS, the Widowmaker, a red with white stripe 0506 Ford GT. There is a Rolls-Royce Cullinan just behind. We carry on through though, Ferrari 458 Speciale, 599 GTB. We have the Crayon or Chalk GT2 RS Visac package. We next to that have a yellow GT3, something pretty rare at the back. We've got the orange 650S Spider. This is the McLaren 650S Le Mans. Now they only actually made 50 of those in total, paying tribute to the Le Mans winning F1 GTR. And you can see that in the style of the wheels, those cut louvres on the arches. It's got the roof snorkel as well. And this car on top of the Sarth gray paintwork also has some of those McLaren orange accents too. We've also got two Ferrari GTC4 Lussos. Now the reason this is very interesting to me, of course I have a Lusso back at home, is that one of these is a V12 and one of these is a V8. And the only way I think you can actually tell that are the wheels. Those are the V8 wheel option. That was the standard V12 wheel option. Other than that, they are basically the same. So this is a 3.9 litre twin turbocharged V8, makes about 610 horsepower. That is a 6.3 litre naturally aspirated V12, which makes 690 horsepower. That's four wheel drive. This is two wheel drive, but effectively they look basically the same. You wouldn't really know which was which if you didn't actually know. Of course, this car also has the A to C pillars vinyled as well to give it that dual tone effect. But yes, nice start to the showroom. Let's carry on through. There is quite a mix of different cars in here. We've got Bentleys, Rolls Royces, Ferraris, Porsches. There's a car down at the end I'd like to show you, as well as the spec on something in particular. Um, just to quickly run you through this, we've got a GT3, there's a Boxster Spider, a Cayman GT4, 599, another 599. We've got a pair of 430 Scuderias just here as well. That's a manual V12 Vantage S at the back. We've got the Bentley Continental T, Rolls Royce Ghost, some Maseratis. We've got the Phantom Drophead and a Phantom Coupe right behind it. A pair of Bentley Continental GT convertibles. You might recognize that Ferrari 458 Italia from Mo Vlogs that is dipped in the kind of galaxy theme. Quite unusual, it has to be said, for a 458 Italia. It is white underneath with a red leather interior, and even the wheels are actually done to match with this kind of design on the exterior. We've got two more Bentley Continentals. We've got a Gallardo just behind. We've got a 550 F12 Berlinetta. In fact, let me try and squeeze on through. We actually have two 550s. I didn't shout out that one that I've just walked past. Past. Look at the roof line of the Phantom Coupe. So past the F12, well, we've got a Lotus 311, McLaren 12C Spider, Aston Vanquish, 911 Cayman, all sorts of random cars, Hurricane, GT3 RS, lots of Westfields, Polaris, random kind of cars all over the place, Geely, Bentayga, Defender, Range Rover, and then this G63. Now the reason this stands out to me is the color scheme of this is actually Mystic Blue. Mystic Blue with silver wheels and the red calipers was one of the options I considered doing my car if I was going to have it from a factory in one of the options that you could actually order as opposed to doing the Topaz skin, which I eventually did. And we did do a color sample test of this color for potentially doing my arches, but we went with something else in the end. Now out here, you get those kind of bull bars on the front, which look very aggressive, but um, yes, not allowed over in Europe anymore. So that's a Westfield. That is a very angry looking Maserati Gran Turismo MC Stradale with the full exposed carbon fiber bonnet. And then that is the Aston Martin Vanquish Zagato Coupe. They made the four different body styles of these. You had the Coupe first, then the Volante, you had the Speed of which they only made 28. There are 99 of all of the others. And finally, the shooting brake. A very, very classy specification though. Subtle considering the design and especially considering the value. But so many details about this which really stand out. All of the Zs in the grille, for example. Those fog lights that you have as well. The signature Zagato double bubble over the roof and those tail lights. Really, really cool. So only 99 of those. One right here. A few other things around. A Targa, very nice blue. We've got some 355s, 4C, Cobra. 
all sorts of, yes, quite unusual mix of cars. But what we need to do then is head to where the key is up towards the offices and go check it out. That view behind me, looking over all of the cars here at Car Vault, is pretty cool. But come and have a look at a view that is even cooler. There is some glass here in the floor to look down at the Speciale and the GT2 RS that we were checking out earlier in the front showroom. A slightly trippy view over both of those cars. Well, plus, what else do we have down there? Yes, the 599 GTB. But of course, we are about to head to go and see this Bugatti Chiron. Now, there is a story behind the specific car that we're going to be checking out today which I will tell you when we get over there in the meantime have a look at what we've got here now this is the Avian Key Quantum they have the Quantum the Serenity and then the Phantom the Phantom is the one we're going to be checking out this being the Quantum is 49,000 euros it's made from 175 grams of solid gold and it has 354 diamonds inset into it there is also the Grand Prix collection at just under 10,000 euros but these well there are only 20 of these there is only going to be one one exclusive car key of the Phantom and that is what we're going to be heading to see. So let's go jump on board a car then to head on over to the Chiron and the other hypercars to see how this works. Here we are then at the other car vault showroom where inside we have a spectacular display. You can see there is a Senna, a Pista, a 50th anniversary Aventador, a yellow 918 Spider Visac and of course our Bugatti Chiron. Let's head inside then where I think in a moment this Aventador is actually going to be coming out to be swapped to another car but this was launched at the 50th anniversary of Lamborghini we've also got an AMG GTR Pro a GTC Roadster a Turbo S exclusive series an SLR a 918 Spider a Wraith a Portofino a Carrera S convertible 992 we've got the Senna Bentley Continental GT Pista and yes an F12 TDF that has just arrived as well but let's come and take a look at this car and I will tell you what is quite so special about it this was actually the 2016 Geneva Motor Show show car, the one that I filmed a first look with over in Switzerland that is now out here. So you've got the iconic dual tone Bugatti blues, the tan interior, and of course, the Chiron in all its glory. Quad turbo, eight liter W16, one and a half thousand horsepower, all of the touches, design details that I remember walking around actually when it was originally presented. The first time ever, ever seeing this car at the launch. Well, today we're going to be able to take a look at it properly and show you in detail and have a look at the key as well to run through all of this. So I think there might be a bit of showroom shuffling and then we'll crack on and have a look at this in a moment. It's all happening at once. The 50th anniversary LP720-4, 20 horsepower more than the LP700 that was the mainstream model at the time, is actually probably one of the rarest and most collectible versions of the Aventador. Vastly rarer than the SV or the SVJ. Well, that's going to be transported back by the transporter that brought this in. 799 of these in total, but honestly, the color scheme as well with the exposed carbon stripe and those sections down there. This is a really, really good looking TDF. Right wheel choice, very, very nice specification. Hey, the bubbles and cracks of the V12. There's something very elegant about an F12 TDF, despite the fact that it is, of course, the hardcore version of the F12 Berlinetta. That long bonnet, the mid front engine mounted 6.3 litre NAV12. This is, of course, heading back into the showroom. A bit of the bubble of the V12. I'm afraid to say that that bus is significantly louder. But this car, oh, listen to that. Carefully does it coming back in then, next to the Pista. 
The center is actually a pretty nice spec too. The white with the red end plates and it has a few other red touches. Brake calipers you might notice and then inside too, red seat belts, red harnesses. Just a bit of a theme carrying through it. M18, a little Westfield. The Weissach yellow 918. That can't be a common thing. That can't be a common thing. Anyway, this is coming in to be alongside our Chiron for the day. Um, yes, I wasn't expecting that little car swap at all, but I'm not complaining because we got to enjoy the anniversario, 50th anniversary, and now the TDF under the showroom lights, and you start to see more of the Rosso Cuoco paint, how it glistens, the fluorescent nature of it, a very expensive paint color, but a very nice one. It is time then for the reason for today's visit to go and have a look at the Avine Phantom Key, the half a million euro car key. So let's come past this rather lovely SLR McLaren to take a look right here at the Phantom Key made from white gold with 34 and a half carats of diamond. And that key is synced up to the Chiron. So I think we should take it out then to go and have a test with this, which means I'm going to pass you the camera so that I can hold this securely with two hands. So be very careful considering the value of it, of course. But here we go. So let's take this around. And of course it can be customized as well to match the exact specification of the car, different colors, different leathers. You've got three buttons, the lock, opening button for the boot or the trunk, and the unlock down at the very bottom. But just come through then and let's give this a test. Now I left the car actually just before it was unlocked because of course we had a look at the interior. So let's press the button then to lock it. Perfect. That full width tail light comes on. Okay, unlock then. All right, should we go and start the car up? Let's head inside and go and fire this up and bring the Bugatti Chiron into life. And in here, it is going to grumble and sound, well, very loud, I expect. So, just gotta be so careful with this. All right, let's uh, delicately do this. Very, very, very delicately sit inside this Bugatti Chiron. And I'm gonna show you the plaque inside the front as well. Okay, here we go then. So, of course, it's a keyless system inside here. You have the engine start button. Turn on the ignition, wake it up. Put on the brake. You ready? Take a listen at the back. And it thundered into life. So, the Gatti Chiron is connected to the diamond car key. Here, this key for this car, half a million euros. go back into that cabinet because uh, I don't want to risk anything happening to it. So let me climb out very carefully with this and make sure that I don't risk anything happening. I'm going to pop that back quickly. Let me show you then the plaque up front. So we've got the lever just down there in the footwell. All of the Chirons, by the way, left-hand drive. But if we come around here, where there is a catch just underneath, above that huge Bugatti horseshoe grill at the front, Press that and lift it up. Small storage area, but most importantly, this. Bugatti Automobiles SAS Multime France 1 of 500 World Premier Geneva 2016. The car that I filmed at the debut in Geneva about three and a half years prior, now out here at Car Vault in Dubai. Very, very cool to see that plaque there, one at the front. And this is a toolkit, by the way, as well, made of the same nice Alcantara as the boot liner, strapped in with a buckle. And just gently close this down to be very careful. Give it a click and we are in place. The Bugatti Chiron though, the car reunited with it. Very, very cool. The paintwork of the blue, the dark blue is stunning. The brake calipers, of course, and the wheel color matching that same dual tone blue. The iconic C in the chrome silver finish. The engine view that you have back here as well. That central spine that runs all the way through the car and even inside the way you have it going around between the occupants as well. This is a work of automotive art as well as a feat of engineering. 
everything about the car. Different driving modes to pop it into handling mode. Then down here, where the speed key would live, when you put that in, it unleashes the top speed, normally limited to 380 kilometers an hour, but with the speed key, limited to 420. But of course, you have the dashboard that goes up to 500, just because, hey, although the new Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus does, well, does get a bit close to that, about 490 kilometers per hour. In any case, look at this, exposed carbon tub of the center. It's a, uh, it's a miraculous and very, very, very cool thing to take in. And as we've had some fun today with the Avain key as well, to see exactly how that works. Well, the Phantom Key is now safely back, stored away. But what a lineup of cars here. An amazing, amazing array and that Chiron. Well, that is something else. I told you we'd come and see some special cars. I didn't expect to see the TDF arriving and of course the Anniversario departing. But yes, big thanks to the guys here at Car Vault for the opportunity to come and see this. And of course, the team at Avain Key for the opportunity as well to be able to share with you the most exclusive and expensive car key in the world. What a special thing. Thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, I appreciate your support. I hope we can catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.